Welcome back. So there's this tradition that started in Cuba close to 100 years ago using a violet scented cologne for babies. And the creator of the scent brought his magic recipe to South Florida. Natalia Ortiz from our sister station Telemundo 51 takes a look at his legacy, the legacy of Agustin Reyes. The popularity of violet scented cologne is evidenced by the entire shelving units devoted to the more than 10 brands of the fragrance in many Miami drugstores. It's a product the Cubans have been dousing their babies with for generations, and it started with one man 90 years ago. If you've ever been around a baby of Cuban descent, you've likely noticed the smell of violets in the air. It's a tradition that started in 1927 Havana by a man named Agustin Reyes. He went to grass to learn for about, I think, uh, six months. And with, with that, he, you know, with his own knowledge, um, uh, created a formula that, that few people have ever been able to replicate. His name is also Agustin Reyes, and he's the grandson and third generation owner of the company, which he runs from a plant in Hialeah. He prides himself on continuing to create the fragrance called Royal Violets using the original formula his grandfather developed nine decades ago. Very few fragrances are that timeless. You, you can count them on one hand, you know, how many of those 1920s fragrances by the most famous fragrance companies in the world are still around. In 1960, shortly after the Castro regime took over, the Reyes family fled Cuba, clandestinely carrying the mixture for the violet cologne that had brought them so much success. Once established in Miami, they continued perfuming babies with the iconic Cuban fragrance, this time in the exile community and beyond. What is this? <laughs> you know, what do you use it for? And so you had to explain to them and then perfume for babies. The product is a staple in most Hispanic American homes, regardless of age or economic status. Reyes says Gloria and Emilio Estefan purchased the product by the case. And the actress Eva Mendez has repeatedly included the fragrance in her list of favorite products, leaving us wondering if Ryan Gosling uses it too. Tell me, what do you think your grandfather would say if he were still alive and he saw it? But I think he would be extremely proud that what he did is still around. Unlike most companies which outsource the production of their fragrance to an outside company, this family-owned business continues to produce their own fragrance in-house. I'm Natalia Ortiz for NBC6 News. Back to you.